Supplementary question, Carmel Cipollone. Does she agree with her own ministry's report on household incomes that 305,000 kids are in poverty on her watch and this number has gone up by 45,000 in one year alone? The Honourable Anne Tolley. Oh, well, Mr Speaker, the member misquotes MSD's report mischievously, as the report itself stated, to use that figure would be mischievous because, in fact, it reflects the median income raised by 3 per cent. So the, the, the opposite to that is that you could reduce child poverty by reducing the median income, which just shows how stupid it is, the member is to quote that figure. Order. 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 The last part. The last part of that answer will clearly lead to disorder. I ask the order. Question number... Oh, supplementary question. Supp no, uh, point of order, Mr Speaker. Point I take offence to the last comment made by the Minister and I ask her to withdraw and apologise. I was about to do that, but then there was so much interjection came from my left on the basis that it has now been raised by the member. I require the Minister to stand and withdraw the last part of that answer. I withdraw the last remarks. Order. Question number eight. Order. Question number eight, David Clendon. Oh, Mr Speaker, thank you, Mr Speaker. Order. Order. Point of order, Grant Robertson. Mr. And this will be a point of order that I expect to be Mr. Mr Speaker, you required the Minister to withdraw that statement. Uh, she subsequently interjected across the House that she um, uh, wasn't going to apologise for it because it was true, which I believe uh, runs counter to your ruling. If the Minister did interject, I would be most upset. I'm asking the Minister, did she interject in that vein? Oh, um, Mr Speaker, I was reacting to a comment that Order. came from if the, the member House. then did, if the Minister... No, I, I'm sorry, it was to another comment that told me I was supposed to apologise. And I said, no, it's true. Look, for the benefit... <laughs> for the benefit of all members, when a, an offence is uh, taken by any remark, I consider the tone of the question, the words and ways were used, I am the sole determinant of the action that is then taken. It might in some cases require a member to withdraw the comment. It may in some cases require a member to withdraw and apologise for the comment. And in the very extreme, it may require the minister or member to leave the House if I so decide. But I'm the determinant of that and I determine it on the basis of each incident. It is difficult for any member to compare one with another. I will make the decision. Point of order, Chris Hipkins. Mr Speaker, I absolutely understand that, and I, I don't think that that's the issue in question. The issue in question is where a minister is required to withdraw or withdraw and apologise, or any member, and then basically uses an interjection to say, but I don't mean it. You know, like, in this case, the minister withdrew her comment and then interjected, and whether it was in response to you or someone else, and saying, well, I didn't mean any of that. Order. That actually makes the whole process meaningless. Order. The difficulty is I didn't hear the interjection. I Order. I then took it up with the minister, who said at that stage she was responding to a further interjection to somebody else. It is difficult to go back. If the minister had taken the opportunity of then saying she didn't agree with the withdrawal of this comment, I'd do something about it. I cannot be sure that that was the case.